Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Door Hardware Nerds. Um, today we've got a very uh, special guest. Uh, Joe, I've got a question for you. Are you a Door Hardware Nerd? My name is Joe Nehi, and yes, I'm a Door Hardware Nerd. <laughs> and proud of it, right? Proud of it. <laughs> okay, um, can you uh, introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about your company, and what, what you're passionate about in this industry? Sure, so um, I've been doing this for about 18 years now. 18? Um, yeah, 18 years, well. Did you start when you are like 10 or something? Like... No. <laughs> Do I look that young? Yeah, you look no, young, yeah. No, so, so straight out of high school, you know, a lot of my buddies, they want to do, um, you know, everyone go to college and, you know, get an office job. That wasn't, that wasn't my thing. I wanted to get into something that I knew that would be long term, that something that was sort of even a niche that, you know, I'd be able to take and even pass down to my kids. Yeah. And, yeah, so I, the, the way I started was it was in the carpenter. I started off in the carpenter's union. Ooh. Yeah, and Smart. I started, yeah, and so we started uh, setting frames and putting frames and doors, hanging doors, hardware. And um, from there, it kind of, uh, I got the opportunity to, um, a company had asked me, um, hey, how about you know you you hang these doors? You know you know your stuff, and can, you think you can come and do some of the life safety? So I, I gave it a shot and uh, went into the life safety industry and started learning more about firewalls, fire barriers. So I kind of took my knowledge with the Dorn Hardware installs and I took that more into the life safety aspect. Um, so I, I did that for a long time, fire door inspections, um, and then that kind of went into uh, you know door gaps and. And other other certain things, you know, holes in your frames and things. And in the past, there was there was really not that many solutions. You'd either have to change the door out to meet the criteria for the door gaps, the clearances. So we kind of came up with a product that would solve those those solutions, you know, and and help fix um, and revolution revolutionize industry on uh, on fixing door gaps. So we have a bunch of different products that uh, can help you out. And that's that. that's how Active Fire Door started, right? That's yes, that's how it started. Wow, uh, yep. and yeah, it, it, you you find it all the time. Like back in the day, if you had an issue with a fire rated door, you just had to replace the whole opening, basically. Correct. Um, Correct. And uh, now you don't have to do that anymore. That, you can save a lot of cost, time, and money. Um, exactly. Utilizing products like yours, right? That's right. Okay. That's right. Um, so, would you say you're passionate about life safety then, or uh, what? What are you? What are you most passionate about in this industry? Um, so, I, I'm very passionate about the life safety aspect, just because um, you know it's it's very intriguing and and how much you know the times have changed and the new codes and you know just the more codes that come out and they dial things in a little bit more. It yeah, just, yeah. It just it, it, it's it's even exciting, and I guess that's a part of kind of being a nerd. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you get the nerd yeah. out on the coats a little exactly. bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I'm very passionate about the life safety. Yeah, good, That's, good, okay. It's a good thing to be passionate about. I think is. a lot of door hardware nerds forget, um, often get caught up in like the day to day stuff and forget about how important our jobs Absolutely. really are. Right? We help people feel safe and secure every day. Right? That's that's exactly um, right. And uh, what you guys are doing is very important for that. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. How long would you say you've been a door hardware nerd? Like, was there a particular moment that you knew, like, you were locked into this industry? Like, I mean, it's probably door and hardware nerd. When I really started nerding out, probably was with the active. And, and active, we've been doing that now for about three years. Okay. You know, and it just, we really started diving into, um, you know, testing products. Yeah. And once you start diving into testing products, you're like, wow, I didn't even, you know, I knew they had this code, but I didn't realize why it was so important. And, yeah, and yeah, when, yeah, yeah. And so when you start seeing the actual burn tests on things, you really start to just, you know, have nerd. You, have you been to one of those fire oh, yeah. door testing? Yep. On all of our products, I go to every single fire every door. Every single one, yep. okay. Yep, it's in Wisconsin, so yeah, we're yeah. out of California. So we, we fly up to Wisconsin and uh, to Intertech headquarters, and that's where we do our testing. That's so exciting. I, I've only been to one fire door testing. Um, I think this was a UL listed one yep. in Iowa or something like okay. that. I forgot where it was, but um, uh, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to see something go through that. Like, yep. It's incredible what a it door is. can handle with this furnace burning behind it. Um, that's right. Especially the metal doors, you see them start to bend and yeah, tweak. And, yeah, you're like, and, <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it, it, I'm they on the other side. They're glowing red, right and yeah, yeah, it, it's it's uh, it's intense. Um, you know, it just um, it 
Another part of it too is, uh, you know, the door gaps, going back to that. You know, you don't understand how important they are until you see a, a door test. You know, people say, ah, it's a little bit over an eighth, I should be okay. Well, if you go and watch a burn test and you see the amount of oxygen and smoke that's pouring out of that door gap that's over an eighth, it's just, it's, and the door lights up even faster because of that oxygen that's passing through that door. So you tighten up those clearances, not as much oxygen, as much oxygen yeah, yeah and and the door you know holds its and maintains its rating yeah i mean fire needs fuel and if there's that's, a gap in your frame or your door or in your strike or underneath like there's that's just fueling that fire exactly that's and, right and that's that's one of those fires we don't want to fuel right that, like no <laughs> no you do not want to fuel that we want to fuel our i'm going with a metaphor here <laughs> we want to fuel our nerdiness in the door hardware industry, right? Exactly, But don't yes. fuel the fire behind the door, <laughs> <No>. right? <laughs> That's I right. Don't know, that might be a swing there. <laughs> um, what is one piece of advice you would offer to a door hardware nerd that's just joining the industry or just starting? Okay, so like maintenance, okay? You get a job in maintenance facilities, okay? They're gonna tell you just get it done. Replace that handle, whatever it takes. I need that door closed and latched because this doctor doesn't want someone getting into their office, so just fix the handle. Next thing you know, there's holes all around just drilled yeah. out. Yeah. So education is one of the most important, factor, important factors of you know of, of what we do you need to understand how to put a handle on I know it's simple it comes with instructions you can just put it together yourself but if you if you aren't educated on how it actually goes together and why it goes together that way you could really risk a lot of people's lives if it's installed incorrectly especially on a fire rated door right that's, like that's that's like that's right yeah. that's absolutely so, so I would say education. Education. Yeah. Yes. Know, know, not only know the codes behind fire rated doors, but know how to properly install hardware on fire rated doors. Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I've, I, and I've seen some stuff, and I'm sure you have too. Yeah, I've seen, you've I've seen, seen pictures, handles. <laughs> I've seen handles put on the wrong way, and it's like I've seen handles you have to lift up to get yep, out. Yep. It's, yep. it's just so many things. It's just you know, get your education and just, um, and just. Uh, you know, get your education and know know what you're doing. That's yeah, yeah. No, um, that's great advice. Um, uh, knowledge is power, but only if you implement that knowledge, right? Like, Correct. So not only retain, like, learn as much as you can, but then practice what you've just learned. No matter, even if your boss says, like, hey, no, just get it done. Like, actually, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Exactly. Because it's against, you know. IBC code yep. so and so, right? right. Like, and if you're be able, if you're knowledgeable enough to speak to that to your boss and educate your boss on it, then he's not going to get mad at you. Be like, hey, do you understand the liability that puts our organization in? That's right. Right. That's right. Okay. Yep. Yep. Isn't, that's that's it, good. Yeah. Keen advice right there. What would you say is the nerdiest thing you've done? Oh, like, geez. One of the nerdiest things I've done. It's all the time, honestly, because everywhere that I go. I'm constantly checking door gaps. I'm constantly checking the latching on doors, looking at door closers. Are they leaking? Are they, you know, are they, are they staying held open too long? Um, are there holes in the door? You know, door stops. Just constantly, at constant nerd, basically. There's not just one instance. It's all the time. You, you, you can't turn it off. Right? Exactly. It's, and it's fun. You know, it's, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It keeps you engaged. Like and like, I'm sure your family members can. Uh, don't appreciate as much as you do, but uh, uh, with I have a kick out of it. So you know, that's just you know, it's all that matters, I guess. You, yeah, you got to have fun in this industry. You, you do, know? you do, yeah. And yeah, it's one of those things that you just can't turn it off. Every that's opening right. you go through, you're you're paying a little extra attention to it than an average person would. That's right. Have you gotten to the point where after you walk through a door, do you listen to it latching Always. behind you? Always. 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 Okay. Yep. Even 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 uh, even my hotel room when I left today, you know, I was kind of in a hurry to leave my hotel room and normally sometimes I'd check to make sure it latched. I just I listen to it. I know 100% yeah. it latched. Yeah. Yeah. It's, all the time. That's that's like one thing I didn't think would ever happen but like that you start listening to doors closing yeah. right like yep. you're we're like literally door whispers like, <laughs> tell, tell door. me your, tell me your secrets right oh, <laughs> one last question for you fill in the blank you might be a door hardware nerd if you do she's basically what we were saying I mean you might be a door hardware nerd if you oh they're busy I'm sorry if, that's right what <laughs> 
I meant to grab mine. It's in my backpack. Okay. But yeah, you might be a door hardware nerd if you carry one of these on you. Oh, there you uh, go. You want me to say that one? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, oh, okay. I, I, I can talk okay, about that. Okay, go for it, go for um, it. So I just got one of these. Uh, um, they're the, pretty fantastic yep, uh, little gap thing. Do, do you want to talk a little bit about it? Like, sure. tell us what, what it's for? Sure, so uh, what this is for is it's a tool that, what this is for is a tool to use for our gap fillers. Whenever you purchase one of our gap gauges, you also get a sample set with our different sizes on there. So your standard uh, for wood doors is an eighth of an inch. If this goes in between your door and your frame, you're out of compliance. You'd take your sample set, start with the 16th. You would go to put that between the door and the frame. If it still goes in there, you'd go up to the next size, which would be a 1 8 If you go to put that in between your door and your frame and it does not go in there, then you're your gap that you would need, the gap filler would be your one eighth inch. So kind of a kind of a neat tool that you can use to do your inspections and also a tool to use um, for our products. Yeah, no, and so you might be a door hardware nerd if you carry one of these on you. <laughs> exactly. 24-7, right? That's right. Uh, That's like, right. like I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have one with me at all times because now now I'm gonna find every gap in this building. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's what they're for. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I yeah. uh, appreciate you uh, meeting with the Door Hardware Nerds, and it's Anytime. fun to learn a little bit more about you and your company and what you guys are doing. Yep. Um, it's uh, been fun. Thank you so much, Benji. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. All right. <laughs> Have a good one.